Hi, everybody. I'm meteorologist Jay Burschback. This is Imagine It. I'm at the Imagination Station with Kristen Johnson, and today we're dealing with the flame tube. Yes, the flame tube is really awesome. And what we have here, we just have a metal tubing. We soak out both ends. This end out here is actually soaked, and so it's also plastic. And it's because we're going to send vibrations straight down the tube. Okay. So now we have holes at the top, and we send propane gas through, so that's what creates the flame. So I have this device right here, and we're going to send off a single tone to see what actually happens to the flame. Okay. All right. I send off the um, tone, we created some standing waves. Now, when there was higher flames, that means the sound pressure was at the highest. Okay. And when the flames were lower, that means the sound pressure was at the lowest. So, as that sound wave is going through the tube, it's literally in spots pushing the flame higher yes. and not higher in other spots. Yes. That's why you get the wave. Yes, you're okay. absolutely right. Wonderful. So, now we're going to actually change the frequency of it and let's watch what happens to the wave.